So today is a very different video. Today's video is bought for me from y -Fruit. They're sponsoring today's content. Today, I'm gonna to be playing a few holes and sharing with you how I play golf. Share with you how an old pro hacks it round. I brought with me one of my students, Freddie. Freddie is a professional as well. He plays on the mini tours here in, in Europe, if you like, or UK, um, and spreads himself into the Europe for a few events as well. So we're gonna share with you our thoughts on how we play three holes, a par four, a par five, and a par three. We're also gonna to talk to you a little bit about fueling. So basically this stuff, why food is a food replacement drink. I hate preparing food to come and play. Freddie's a little bit more organized than me, but I'm sure he doesn't enjoy it either. This stuff is really healthy, really good for you, and helps fuel your body. And basically you need to be eating and drinking a lot when you play. So from my point of view, eating every three to four holes. What I tend to do is sip one of these after every hole. So it keeps me fueled throughout the round. It stops me losing that vital concentration to make sure I can beat people like Freddie as often as I play him. Keep watching to see how we play a few holes. Sixteenth hole at the Forest of Arden, it's a 407 par four dog leg. We're going to be trying to hit the ball kind of over that dead tree and just right at that dead tree, probably with a driver today because it's cold. Obviously the cold affects the distance the ball goes. It's probably got about a 280 yard run out on that dead tree. Further right than that, there's a little bit more room because obviously it's carrying, it's a longer carry so you can hit like a 300 yard driver, probably about 10 yards right at that dead tree. So that's kind of the line that Freddie's gonna be taking. I'm gonna be going a tad left of that because I hit it a little bit shorter than Freddie. Let's get going. All right, Freddie's up first. A little cutter. A little cutter. So, Freddie, you try and cut it off the tee, don't you? Just for the viewers? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, it just helps with the stand top of the ball, so it stops it from leaning back and coming from the inside. Right, so basically, from a technical point of view, it stops him with his poor pattern, which is he gets too much from the inside, tends to hit blocks and big hooks. So, when he hits cuts, it keeps him more in play. Right. Costs you a few yards. Stop being in play, much better. <laughs> Fair we find it. So 144 to the flag. That's what we're facing. Really attractive looking hole. Got to get the distance right because it's quite a narrow green. Um, so anything too long, it's really impossible up and down. It's 144 flag. It's slightly hurt in the wind. It's cold. So it's probably playing 152, 154. So that's probably either a soft seven or a very hard eight for me. So I'm gonna go with a seven. It's cold, I'm cold. I'm stiff, I'm old. So ideally I wanna hit this right the flag. So kind of almost where those hoops are. If I can get my ball landing at the end of those hoops, I'm pretty happy. Anything left and long is dead here, as you know, Fred. Anything short is dead, which is why, because I'm in between two clubs, I'm taking the longer club. If I hit an eight hard pitch in the front of the green, spun it back in the water, that'd be no good. That's the kind of mistakes I'd make if I was losing to you. So I pushed it a little bit, still found the green. It's about what, five yards right where I wanted? Bit of a chicken shot, safe shot. So what yard did you go, Fred? 104 flag. 104 flag. So a lot shorter than I had, but you cut the corner more. Yeah. You obviously hit it a bit longer in the, in the air as well, but taking the corner off, again, I pulled my tee shot a wee bit. And if anything, you probably pushed yours a wee bit. Yeah, it's more line this hole than yeah. distance. You can actually get close to the green with the right wind and the right line, can't you? Yeah, you can. You're not far off the distance for the green, but obviously the line, the carry distance is massively more. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? I uh, got 54. I'm just going to play it slightly right of the flag, uh, try and land it one or four and stop it staying dead. 
Okay. Give yourself about 10 foot right on the flag. Okay. And something we often talk about when I'm on the course with you is leaving yourself the easiest putt. Yeah. This is probably the only hole we wouldn't do that on because the easiest putt would be left of the flag. Yeah. But it's such a narrow bit of the green, as you'll see when we get up there, that it means you can walk off a hole with a bogey when you've only got a 54 degree wedge. So it's the right play. Getting the distance right is crucial, isn't it? So it's a great shot. A bit lucky because you pulled it, didn't you? Yeah, tad pull, but distance was right, so yeah. Room for error. Exactly. If you get the distance right, you can afford to hit this obviously probably 10 yards left, 10 yards right. So I've left myself a bit of a longer putt than I want. But sometimes what I like to focus on when I first start playing a few holes, I haven't played much, which I haven't, is fairy green, fairy green. And that's kind of the priority. So routine wise, a few practice strokes trying to get a feel of the green. The greens have got dew on them. So that's going to slow it down a bit. The downhill putt. This is slightly right to left. Important from this distance just to get the pace right for me. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm sure that'll be given. Good so, pace, very good pace. Thank you. So Freddie, I've been coaching now for about 13 years, 14 years. He's the best putter I've ever seen. No pressure, Fred. Well, a bit dollied, a bit dollied, but in the middle. Three. It is a three. So 17th hole, par five, ever so slight. Dog leg left, water short the green. It's a good risk and reward hole. You can normally get your in two for, for me and for Fred for sure. Um, so it's a good risk and reward hole for me. If you hit a good drive, you normally go for the green in two. If you hit a poor drive, you normally lay up to the yard as you want. Before we get going, I'm gonna have a little bit of her. my wife food. That'll make me our drive, you know. Turn it over a touch, it'll probably find the left semi. Just stood a little too far away from that ball there, Fred. It's a common fault you get into. So that affects your strike pattern. So when you hit the ball out the toe, you probably already know this. You obviously create gear effects, makes the ball go left. So young Fred there, a little bit toe overdraw. We trying to draw that one. A little bit, yeah. Because of the shape of the hole. Stroke that well, a little down the right, but on the fairway. So as I said, great looking second shot here into the 17th. Now this is really on my kind of limit. I've got 250 to the flag. I hit my three wood about 250, but this is obviously a long carry because there's not much room between the water and the flag there. The ball's on the slight above my feet position, so it's going to make it go left, which is why I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to hit a three wood kind of at the left edge of the green, hoping to get it by the bunkers, or if I push it a bit and really hit it well, it'll might grab the front edge of the green on a little space. It's right on that risk and reward. I'm going to have a go for it, because it's one shot penalty for going to war. If I hit it on the green, I'm going to make birdie. And because I'm playing match play, I need to make birdie probably here to match Fred. Hit it well, just down the left hand side. It's in play, but it's left. Fred's just caught the semi. What have you got? One nine three flag. It's one nine three flag. One nine three flag, yeah, a bit cold into wind, so yeah. Probably playing two oh five. Okay, two oh five-ish. Probably I'd go a little bit more than that. The wind I think is is 
more into us than the last hole. I think it's more like 10. Okay. So that's 205. And in the cold, I'd probably go three or four yards. So I'd probably go 210 to be safe. If you want something that's going to pitch 200 ish to make sure you're over the water, don't you? Yeah. Calculate in the temperature, the wind, the run out, elevation, all those things. So what you got? I got four right. Okay. The, pin, the pin's right in the front, so anything long of this, the green's quite deep, so yeah. still give me a the wind just picking up a bit there as well. So. Okay. Well, you'll also notice, guys, watching that Freddie does these exaggerated practice swings. They're to try and get him more left bending on the way down, or basically stop him right bending as much as he does. When he right bends, the club gets underneath, he gets those shots we talked about in the first hole. Good looking shot, just left of the flag. Just the front kind of apron. Good shot. Hit it well or miss or do you miss judge the wind? That's a it's a good it's a good play. Yeah. So short and left in the in the rough. Obviously I'm not gonna get as much spin from the rough, so I'm gonna look to land this. Kind of about the same distance as Freddy's ball there, just short of the green or front edge of the green. When I'm pitching, I'm really concentrating on length to swing. So for me, this looks about rib length swing for me, rib to rib. Ooh, pretty happy with that. Touch long, but really, really happy with the shot. So, Freddie, what have you got? 30 foot? 30 foot, yeah, maybe just under. Uh, got that eight or nine foot fringe to go through first, but the fringes here are pretty short and, and roll pretty smoothly. So, I'd always try and get the ball, if I was trying to chip and run on the ground and running as soon as possible, but I can, as soon as I can get a putter on it, I always feel like a bad putt is much better than a good chip, so. Yeah, and I always look at holing, so. You're going to hold more putts than you would do chips. Definitely, yeah. If I had 10 shots from here, 100% hold more putts. Even though your whole percentage from here is probably about 4%. Yeah. yeah. But you may as well have the opportunity. Yeah, you always got to give it okay. a go. And it's a bit of swing from the left, isn't it? Yeah, pretty flat, just left to right. Let me get my shadow out of your way. Bobbled a little at the start, but it's good enough to give me. Okay, for the half. Slightly from the right. Halving four. Two different ways of playing the hole, but a half. So 18th par three, 207 yards over the ravine. Great finishing hole. Intimidates a lot of average golfers, but it's a great finishing hole. What's the yardage to the flag, Fred? Uh, 200 flag. 200 flag, okay. Back into the breeze. Very similar to what the flag's on the right. Six or seven yards more, so it's the same shot, just one foot more. So what, 215 to 218? So it's really important you guys at home work out the yardages the way we are. Temperature, wind, run out. I see so many amateur golfers not do that. Yeah, so the yardage is massively important, Fred. Most amateurs come up short all of the time. You see it on par threes and par fours, so don't be afraid to just give yourself half a club more, even a club more. Most, most golf courses, all the danger is short as well. Pin eye or short is the danger, so just give yourself yeah. that extra five or 10 yards, room of error. You might leave yourself a birdie putt rather than tough up and down. Yeah, uh, all, all golf course designs, trouble at the front. Yeah, no trouble at the back. Sometimes out of bounds long, but it's only on boundary yeah. holes really, isn't it? I think if you give yourself the opportunity of taking one more club for a round as an experiment and going for the middle of the greens, you would probably reduce your scores. Those two philosophies. Definitely. Right, let's see what you can do. What you got? I got four, right? Okay. Middle of the green? Good looking shot, pretty straight, 
middle of the green. Yeah, pitched up there about pin high. Good shot. So as a rule, we tend to go long clubs or long shots, middle of the green, short clubs, short club at the flag. I'm going with a five wood here. This goes about 230 for me. Again, we're playing about 215. So 230 would be, you know, on a good day. So we're going to try and go five wood, middle of the green, similar line to Fred. Just pulled it a wee bit. Just grabbed the bunker there. See if we can get them down. I missed the green in the bunker, left and short. No, oh, slightly short. Got myself probably 25 yard bunker shot. I'm gonna have to get up and down really for any chance of halving the hole. I'm obviously already one down anyway. So half's not really much good, but still a bit of pride in getting up and down. So wide stance, weight forward, face open. Pretty aggressive swing. Hitting the sand behind the ball. Happy with the strike. A few feet too long, but good shot. Okay, so Fred's pin high. Good shot on this tough, kind of long par four. Rule of thumb is Tor Pro's average 8% error for a full shot. So round numbers, 10%. We had 215, 220, we said, didn't we? So 22 yards away, which would be 66 feet. You're probably what, 30 feet? So you're well inside the tour average stat, which I'd be happy with, coach. So left or right putt. Yeah, you can dewy green still, so we're early in the morning. So you can be a bit aggressive, can't you? Great weight, and you can take it away for a par. So I probably got about 12 foot. Left my par seat again, I was probably a little too aggressive with the bunker play. Downhill, slight right to left. Oh, thought I had that. Bogey. Well played, Fred. Okay, so that's a wrap. Three holes, um, some good shots, a couple of dodgy shots. Overall, not too displeased with how I played, quite pleased with how Freddie played. Obviously, one loose drive, but it wasn't that bad. But he still made two birdies, two in the par for three holes, which is good. Um, I would say two of the holes are quite birdieable, yeah. especially for you, your standard. The 18th is probably a par, is a good, a good, a good hole, a good number, and a good, a good score for that particular hole. 17 is definitely a shot I would want you to be four point something on. 16 maybe, four point something or high three point something. So you did, you did well, and you won deservedly, and you should win. Bear in mind that's my fourth round of golf this year. You probably play four, this fourth this week. Yeah, exactly. Massive difference. You were here for an hour warming up before we played, and I walked on the team played. So yeah. Not, 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 not including the age and all that kind of stuff. So, thanks to Waifu for helping us do this video. Um, there's a discount code which you would see flashed up in the banner and also there'll be a link down below in the code. Check out their products. They do shake stuff. They do obviously the pre-done drinks. They do powders, they do protein bars. It's really important to feel as you play. If you don't feel as you play, you will start to deteriorate during the round. So hydration and fuel is massively important. I'm always on to Freddie about it. Every three or four holes, eat and drink, eat and drink. Ideally every hole, certain drink. And if you wanna either have the, the drink like I did every hole, or you wanna have it so you have a whole cool drink every sort of five, six holes, that would be okay too. So whatever suits you. But I particularly don't wanna bring Tupperware bars out and boxes out and knives and forks and be sitting down and eating because you're on the go. You don't wanna be holding play up. You wanna be moving and drinking, moving and eating ideally. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please click like and share the video. Also post any comments and questions down below. If you want to see more content like this from me, tell me down below. And if you want more, if that's what everyone wants, we'll bring more. So if you haven't already followed, subscribed, hit my logo down the bottom and join me in my journey. Let me help you improve your golf and hopefully enjoy it on the, the journey too. See you soon.